Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. It's summertime, baby! Summer is here, it's upon us. I can't believe this year is going by so fucking fast. Oh my God! A little stressful, but the sunny times are upon us. And I am super stoked for this video because I'm going to be sharing the best sunscreens for darker skin tones. Now, if you watched my video last week, I outlined some of my favorite sunscreens that you can use during this summer to make sure your skin is properly protected from the sun. But I wanted to make a separate video highlighting sunscreens that specifically work for darker skin tones. Now, I totally understand if you're sitting there and thinking, um, why? Am I listening to this white boy talk about sunscreens that are for skin tones that aren't even his own? I think that's totally valid. <laughs> However, I cannot count how many comments you guys have made on my videos specifically requesting me to make a video about sunscreens for darker skin tones. And if there's any way I am able to help, I can say this. I have tried so many sunscreens, tested out the best and the worst, and if I can save you some time and money, then I'm happy. And I wanted to make a specific video for this to ensure that you are being connected with the best sunscreens that will absolutely work on darker skin tones. So you don't have to worry about accidentally getting a sunscreen that does have somewhat of a white cast or a gray cast and your money goes down the drain. I'm gonna keep this video super short so you can get on with your day, but let's just jump into these sunscreens. As I get into the products, I do wanna say that all the product links will be listed in the description box below. If you do wanna support me and my channel, I make a small commission from these links and would really appreciate it if you use them as you do your shopping, but no pressure whatsoever. They're just there as a resource if you do decide to purchase any of these, no pressure at all. So I'm gonna be recommending four sunscreens. First up is one that I have talked about many times on my channel. It has a cult following on TikTok and I am one of the cult followers, what can I say? The Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 sunscreen. Now this is a Korean sunscreen as are, well, all the sunscreens that I'm talking about in today's video. Because the thing is in the USA, I'm not a fan of recommending chemical sunscreens because they do make your skin more prone to irritation and sensitivity. And mineral sunscreens tend to have a white cast to them. Whereas in Korea, their technology and laws are way past the USA's, which means you get much better sunscreens that don't have that white cast appearance. The reason why this one is amazing is because it literally feels like a moisturizer. It goes onto the skin so nicely. It has ingredients that work to soothe and hydrate the skin, giving it a gentle glow, but still working on your skin, even if you do have oily skin. I'd say this is a perfect sunscreen if you have combination skin. And for this sunscreen, as well as the other sunscreens, I'm not gonna only show how it looks on my skin, but I also asked my roommate, Akoni, to test out these sunscreens on camera so you can see how they apply on a darker skin tone. Everyone, make sure to go follow him on his TikTok page, at Akoni Phoenix. I'll have his page listed in the description box below. If you're interested in learning more about hair care, definitely go follow him because he makes some great content. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be trying is this one, Beauty of the Sun. This one is also SPF 50. It also has a really light consistency and it blends really well. They're gonna give you this really glowy look. As you can see, there's literally no white cast. Okay, as you can see, this one is actually a little more glowy. I'm so impressed by this product because not only does it have a dream application, it also has really good ingredients that honestly operate similarly to a moisturizer to make sure your skin is not only protected, but also soothed and taken care of throughout the day. If you've been a subscriber of my channel for a while, you already know that I previously did a video where I shared the best sunscreens for darker skin tones. However, the majority of sunscreens that I recommended in that video have now been discontinued and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So here we are with another video and updated sunscreen recommendations. The Purito Daily Go To Sunscreen SPF 50. This one genuinely took me by surprise because I used to love the Purito Centella sunscreen like a few years ago before they discontinued it. But Purito came back swinging and came out with this awesome formula. It has such a nice consistency that feels very lightweight on the skin. It's a fragrance-free sunscreen that still has that Centella Asiatica ingredient that will help to reduce any irritation, sensitivity you might be experiencing. But it utilizes both innovative Korean chemical UV filters and and physical filters. The one minor downside I will say with this one is that it does have titanium dioxide. There's no appearance of any white cast as you can see, but as opposed to the other sunscreens which don't have physical filters like titanium dioxide, if you have a very, very dark skin tone, then I would say go for the other sunscreens I'm recommending, but this one is still a solid one that shows up so nicely on the skin. And if you want a lightweight sunscreen that doesn't feel like a heavy extra step to your skincare routine, it's a great one to go with. This one by Purito, this one is also SPF 50. This is actually their new formulation they had a big recall a year and a half ago but i have always loved this sunscreen and i like their new formulation it blends really nice what i like about this is that it doesn't really irritate your eyes so that is very nice you can see so as you can see there's literally no 
uh, white cast on my face, which is really nice. My skin looks really glowy. Next is the very popular Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel SPF 50. This one has gotten really popular, specifically on TikTok, and if you have more dry skin, I would say this is definitely a match made in heaven. It feels super nice on the skin, it has multiple forms of hyaluronic acid to help really hydrate the skin throughout the day. In a bit richer of a formula, but again, it's not the type of rich, thick formula that you find in most drugstore sunscreens here in the USA. It is still a lightweight gel that absorbs so nicely into the skin. And Isentree is one of my favorite Korean skincare brands out there. It's just a solid product. There's a reason why it is so popular. Super good for anyone who wants a nice hydrating feel without that white cast. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. I am an idiot. I filmed that video right before I flew to Colorado and I used the Isentree sunscreen that day and left it. So unfortunately, Akoni wasn't able to test out on camera, but I wanted to insert two different content creators that show the sunscreen application on camera on TikTok. The first is Aisha Noor. She has a great TikTok account. I'm sure a lot of you guys know her. And the second is Tamuno. She not only has a TikTok, but also a YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go follow and support both of them. And then finally, I will be honest, this is my favorite sunscreen out of all of them. The one that I have recommended to so many people just because it's magic in a bottle. The Cynic Enjoy Super Mild Sun Essence SPF 50 sunscreen. It is a dream formula, particularly if you have more oily skin because it feels like an extremely lightweight gel moisturizer with zero white cast. The skin absorbs it so well and it literally feels like nothing on the skin. Like out of all of these sunscreens, this one feels the most deceivingly lightweight, but in like a good way. And one of the reasons this is my favorite sunscreen in this video is because it's super affordable, not expensive at all. So if you're not wanting to break the bank on your sunscreen, I'd say definitely go for this one. And the great thing is that you guys seem to love it as well. I get the most positive feedback about this sunscreen. It's just, oh, I love it so much. This one, the SPF 50. I've tried this one before. This one has a really light consistency, but it's also like very moisturizing. There's no white cast. And what I like is that it doesn't really leave a white cast, which is really nice. So as you can see, it blends really well seamlessly. And you can see there's really not a difference, which is nice. I like it. In my opinion, Korean sunscreens, they all have very similar formulations. They're all pretty great, to be honest. So I would recommend any of these three for any person with brown skin or even like darker skin tones, because it's literally not gonna have any white cast. Thank you, Hiram, for having me on your channel. And those are all the sunscreens that I wanted to share. I know it's not a ton, but I really wanted to limit it to like the best of the best, the ones that I recommend most often to people and I think reflect the most innovation within the sunscreen world. Each of these formulas are incredible. And like I said before, you can find them all listed in the description box below. I know some people are gonna be commenting asking, Hiram, I can't find these in the drugstore. Where can I buy these on the shelf? And I'm just gonna be honest, I really don't think that the USA has the best sunscreens, particularly if you have a deeper skin tone. And while yes, there are chemical sunscreens out there that feel very nice on the skin, there is a high potential for irritation and sensitivity, which is just something I'm not personally comfortable recommending on my channel, because my goal is always to make sure that you guys are linked with the best products that will ensure the least likelihood of having having a bad reaction, because my goal is not to fuck up your skin, okay? I can't handle that responsibility. And in my opinion as well, the only sunscreens in the US that you can find that like measure up to this quality of sunscreen are gonna be ranging from like the $35 to $55 price point, and these are just much more affordable. So do what you will, but these really are the best sunscreens that I have ever been able to find, and they'll definitely be a perfect match for you and all of your summer activities. Just please remember to apply sunscreen every day and reapply it if you're gonna be out in the sun. I don't want you getting any sun damage, okay? Mama cares. Anyway, I'm not gonna take any more of your time. I hope you all have an amazing time on whatever summer plans you have, whether you're going on vacation to the beach or just chilling at home. Everyone needs to wear sunscreen every day and I hope these are gonna be able to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.